Hello folks, here is Rodrigo Banzato and I'm here to show you a little about the Unreal Engine 4. Here is an example, we use some uh, objects from the collection Tonka 3D Total Objects. I will show you how to manipulate these models here inside the Unreal Engine. And so let's get started. And here is a sample scene from the Unreal Engine. All right. So here in Mesh, let's bring the some models here. Go to right mouse button, import. Let's import. Here in the DVD, you have the UDK pa package, and you have all the models here. Let's bring the the chair two, okay? Chair two, FBX, okay? Let's click open. Take a look here and uh, open the advanced tab and see if you have enabled the import mesh lots because we want to bring the lots that we did in 3ds Max. Uh, leave this on. Import the materials. And import the textures. Okay. Let's click import. Remember that it's very important to, to have the last version of the FBX depending on your 3ds Max version. All right. Um, because here, for example, we have the, the chair. We can bring this chair here. Oh, it's a little uh, small. No problem. Take a look here and put three or four. Let's see. Let's click play and see the result. Okay, let's see. All right, click ask. Here I will use four so we can see more details in the mesh. Uh, let's double click here and you can see the, the material the material editor okay right mouse button you can make the pan hold the control button and click this box hold control button now and bring this box to the left now in in real engine 4 we have these tools in the left region so you can make this okay all right as you can see we have this part uh, not connected maybe it's because i'm not using yet the last version of the fbx but then uh, there is no problem for the, for this we can uh, actually we can just put this in the specular okay let's click apply you you will not see uh, difference here because we need uh, that, that metallic look it's very beautiful in the in this engine. So just bring this here to the metallic, and now you will see the metallic result. But we need a roughness. Right mouse button, constants, constant, and here we'll put a value like 0 0.25. 0 0.25. It's a little gray. Okay. If you see, 0 is black, 1 is white, 0 0.5 is the middle, but let's use the 0 0.25, let's put this in the halfness, and now we have a more uh, realistic reflection, let's click apply, and take a look now how it is good this, let's close this window, let me play, okay, right mouse button here, alright, so take a look, and see how the light uh, in the Unreal Engine 4 is good. It's very beautiful. The result is amazing, guys. Okay. Very nice. Let's bring this chair here in the side. Let's, let's take another model here. Right mouse button in this area. Import. And let's bring now, for example, we have a lot of things here, like trees. Okay, let's put the sofa, the sofa too. We have, we also have the this sofa terrace. It's very nice. The sofa too. Okay, open. Take a look here. Be, make sure that all these boxes are checked, and click import. I will not build the lights. Uh, we have the message here. Lights need to rebuild uh, because uh, I want to show you fast examples. Here I will bring this uh, model to the scene. Let's uh, correct the scale. So here is this is a really nice exercise because uh, take a look. 
and see the distance that the lots uh, are influencing in the scene. It's it's too near. Um, what I mean is that when I, when we did this sofa in 3ds Max, we did a lot uh, LOD level of detail. So we have not just one mesh, we have a lot of optimization meshes. So if you double click here, you will see that we have the base mesh, the LOD 1 and the LOD 2. So it's three models, but the distance of the LOD 0 to LOD 1 is too near. As you can see here, for, for, for this part of the screen, you see that the value is not corrected so you may want to change this load settings click uh, disable the out compute distance and now let's put here for example 800 okay and here the double 1600 okay press enter and now if you bring the mouse here Okay, here is the distance of 800, so because we di we see this difference here, okay? So it's a nice distance now, let's close and now we don't have that problem again. Play, let's see this sofa, the material is not good, yeah, this is not a tissue, this is not uh, another type of material, let's double click in the material and let's make the same adjustments okay it's not a leader it's not a tissue let's click here let's bring this here okay right mouse button constant let's put a constant here I'll put this constant very dark is like zero one okay I think the this color is too bright here in the engine, so I will put uh, the math. If you know Photoshop, you know what is a multiply. Let's see it here, multiply. Okay, put this here, put this here, and put this in the base color. Now it's more dark. If you want to you see the result, just click in here, and you see the result here too. Okay, but the, the reflection here has no value. Let's put some values. Click here, Ctrl C, Ctrl V, and bring this to the specular. I think it's too strong for a tissue, so I'll put 0 0.02. Okay, something like this. Here, the right mouse button brings us the zoom, zoom in, zoom out. The left mouse button rotates, so you can check how is the the specular right here. Let's apply. So this is an example. Let's close it now and take a look and see that this is a lot better. Okay. Let me position this so from more or less here. Let me click play. I like to see in this razor too. By the way, the correct size, like I said, is 3, okay, 3 here, and 3 here, let's play here, let's see, okay, very nice, if you want a different type of material, take a look, double click here, and just give a Ctrl C, Ctrl V, here you can use this 0 0.25, and put this in the halfness, and here you can use uh, 0 0.1 maybe maybe it's, it's too strong but let's see let me close now so we have a different type of material now take a look very nice remember that this sofa is uh, a part of the the collection of the Tonka 3D Total Object we have the video producing this sofa, the high poly model, the low poly model, the optimization, the very hander, uh, applying this to the free UDK, okay, and now you can see uh, how I'm using this model here inside the Unreal Engine 4. I will put the specular a little less, let's try to put here 0 0.02 um, or 
four, and here I will put zero dot two. Maybe it will be better. Let's see. Oh, okay. I think now it's more appropriate. All right. So we have a really nice material. In the next video, guys, I will show you how to change the colors uh, of this black area of the chair inside the Unreal Engine 4, how we can manipulate this color of the sofa and make another uh, adjustments uh, that I think it's necessary. So, hope you like this lesson and see you soon. Bye-bye.